Hello everybody and welcome back to the Band of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. In the previous episode, I'm pretty sure we had a good run as my character. Because <laughs> that's what I've been kind of doing lately. Uh, we've been having some good fun with the character. I've been really enjoying him. But I think this time we're going to head back as the Afflicted. Although I do very much adore my character and think it's great. Uh, I, I do think that I still want to have some variety in this. I'm going to turn off simple stats as well because we're not using my character for now. Um, and let's go in as the Afflicted. I've been having a lot of fun with this character um, in the recent runs I've had with him. Retrash has done a really great job. I mean, you guys know my thoughts on Retrash. He's made some great stuff. But yes, so... Uh, Oh, this is a rainbow run. I'm not going to do another rainbow run because I did bit, I did one, I think, was it last episode or the episode before? I did a rainbow run recently, I know that for a fact. Uh, and, yeah, I, th I, did a f I did a few um, rainbow runs on stream as well, so I think we're just going to do a normal run this time around. Just a, a normal, regular, old run. How's my rainbow buddy? He's rainbow bad because I don't want rainbows anymore. Right, that'll do us and we'll head in. Head into the next little area. And carry on with this run, but yes. So I, I really do like the um, the whole dynamic with with this guy. I like I like to just do that straight away. What are we getting here? I mean, risky as shit, but I'm taking the chicken immediately. What a way to start! The chicken is so good to have right off the bat. It means we're a little less able to use our beast blood injection, but to get a chicken, is that a chicken? <laughs> is definitely worthwhile. Definitely worthwhile going to be very very useful for us i think the uh, the chicken flute is it's especially early game like I, I think it's a fun item above all else but it is actually early game a very strong item especially in boss fights any any bullet hell type enemies like these or um or bosses which are the vast majority it really really helps you out a lot what the hell is going on with my cable here can it fuck off it's getting everywhere it's getting caught on things stop it there you go, that's a bit better. Right, one second, let me sell my chair out. That's better. It wasn't high enough. I felt I felt too short. I felt too loose. Right. So we don't <laughs> we don't have to quite worry as much this time about uh, making sure um making sure my turtles stay alive, which has been the primary concern with our past like however many runs past quite a few runs it's been our primary concern um and that is it's, it's refreshing to not have to worry about it but like it's also i miss i miss those little guys like i've been really enjoying the whole dynamic of that like i i'm so glad it worked as well as i thought it would and i've had a few of you guys that have downloaded and played the character say that you really like the dynamic and the unique gameplay style as well i think it just adds something that sort of a little mini game into your into your run that not many um not many things uh, like characters have well anything in the dungeon has really and um, some people said it's like is <laughs> turtle has created an escort mission in gungeon basically yes but it's a bit more fun than an escort mission unfortunately escort missions in general aren't usually great like if you look at just cause three for example that is that is like the best example i can think of oh no the chicken just destroyed the uh, the barrel you heathen um the best example i can think of for like where escort missions are used in a bad way is the just cause series mainly just cause 3 i haven't really played too much of just cause 4 story because although that game was incredibly fun it was a technical mess it crashed like every five seconds i did attempt to do a series on it on my channel but i only got two episodes in before i had to cancel it because the game was crashing too much i think i spent like three hours one day trying to do the same episode and the game didn't have frequent enough auto saves so i kept having to redo the first half of this 20 minute mission over and over and over and over again and I got really sick of it in the end. But the actual, like, when they when they fixed it up and polished it and stopped it from crashing, at least, it's a very, very fun game to mess around in. Uh, I, I really, really did enjoy it, but it just, it was a little little too late. A little too late. Anyways, I'm going to actually open that that um, that green chest straight off the bat here because I would very much like a gun to go against the boss with because this thing's kind of trash. But honestly, Hip Holster, Hip Holster is amazing. Amazing for us with the, um, with this little, this little gun. Because we're going to be firing two of the uh, the uh, rocks, cannonballs, whatever they are. We're going to be firing two of them with every single fire. So it's going to make this vastly, vastly better. Like, way, way better than it normally is. I'm definitely going to take damage here. I'm way too close to them, guys. But the fact that it pierces on normal enemies, this is going to make this so much better. Hip holster is like an item made for this guy. So that, that worked out just as, just as well as getting a good weapon, to be honest. Oh, you bastard. Absolute bastard. I really needed that HP as well. 
not just for the sake of staying alive, but also that flawless for using the beast blood injection would have been very, very nice. Okay, he's dead. The chickens took care of him. Right, come on you. Die, boy. What? There you go, chickens are back. Damn, I'm so annoyed I got hit there, though. That was a really bad hit to hit. Please give us armor again. Yeah, good, good. We do get extra stats while we're unarmored with this guy, but honestly, do you know what I don't even want? No, I do want extra. Because we want extra curse. Um, but otherwise, that's kind of bad. Um, do we have any way of going to the Oubli at all? I kind of think we squandered our opportunity there with popping the barrel. But honestly, little chicka retail, little chicken here, did did the ruining. He was the one that did the ruining. Let's pop these barrels. If you didn't know, you can destroy explosive barrels by rolling over them without causing an explosion. It's very difficult to do during combat, but it's at least useful to know. If you can manage to get a clutch dodge roll in before it's about to get hit by a bullet, you might save yourself from the bullet and the explosion. It sometimes can be useful. It's at least good to know, I think. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be able to go to our Oublia, which is nice. Very nice indeed. Very nice and spicy. Um, right, here we go. I will indeed, if I can get another key, which I think I can. Yeah, I can. I will indeed go for the other chest as well. Another gun would be very nice. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm surprised it doesn't have a synergy with hip holster. In my opinion, all pistols should have a synergy with hip holster. Um, like... All the shotguns have a synergy. A lot of the assault rifles have synergies. It seems like they should have a synergy as well, but unfortunately it doesn't. Let's go for that. Uh, nope. And then we'll head down to the oubliette. But yes, actually I'm thinking that using the dueling pistol might be our best course of action because of the hip holster. We're going to be taking so much advantage of that hip holster with the fast reload and the, the basic, basically double shot. We basically got double vision active at all times with this thing very good obviously it's not quite the same the same way of using it but it's going to be good and obviously it's going to save us on ammo as well did the chicken just kill that guy because i swear i didn't shoot him pretty sure i did very nice very well done little chikorita very well done but yes it's going to be it's going to be pretty damn effective especially considering a lot of enemies are dying in two hits if we're able to hit both shots back to back did we just get a gold casing no we didn't we did get a flash ray though which honestly i love Loads of people massively underrate the flash ray. It's mainly, like, its main downfall, honestly, is his inaccuracy. But everything else about it, I really, really enjoy. And having another weapon just to room clear on these early floors is just of paramount importance. It's going to be really nice for us. Basically, with with the Beast Blood Injection, just this character in general, we're kind of in a waiting game here of me just trying to get um, some more heart containers before I can actually do anything. My own fault. I shouldn't have taken the uh, the chicken, but I am glad I did. Uh, and I also should have got a flawless. Really should have got a flawless. I shouldn't ever be losing the first floor flawless. Ever. I swear, when I see my characters on low health, like when you start with 2 HP on this character, or my turtle melon character where you start with 1, I immediately just go, oh, my brain, and just fuck up the uh, first floor flawless. I don't know why. It just seems to be a habit of mine. But yeah, we're going to be absolutely fine here. Absolutely fine. Yeah, Flash Ray is going to be able to take these big mushroom guys out in like two magazines, maybe maybe less. Yeah, it's like a magazine in a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, magazine magazine in a bit. There you go. Easy kill on those. And we've got a shop here. The Brick Breaker is nice. The Brick Breaker is nice. I don't know if it's going to be worth the cost, though, because we are going to want to buy a key this floor. Because even if our chests are just blue, I'd rather open one. Because we're not going to be able to afford to go to our rat floor here. And I just fell in there. Health looking risky. We did just get a bit of a stat upgrade in that, which is nice, I suppose. We've got speed upgrade and cares upgrade and all that all that jazz. But it does put us in a situation where one jammed enemy will be our demise. So, wouldn't like to see that. Wouldn't like to see that at all. Oh, send your chest. Send your chest. Send your chest. You bastard game. You bastard game. I can't even get it. I was going to try and go back to the shop, but I need 30 casings to be able to open it. That was just that was just evil. Okay, so this is a room where I could genuinely die. But I'm okay. I did it. I'm getting a lot better at that room, but that could have been Adamize there. You can really, really, really see the um, the damage up that's coming from this... Um, coming from our lose, losing our armor and activating the, uh, the beast mode. Because it's, it's really insane. We're killing stuff so much faster. Like, two-shotting things with the flash ray rather than four or five. I think it's like a 25% damage upgrade. But it's, it's doing us pretty damn well. Okay, this is a room where I could definitely lose some HP. Just play around the shotgunners. 
we go. Take out the easy enemies. I swear, it seems like the flash ray is doing more damage up close. Is that an actual thing? Maybe. Maybe it's a thing. We just get a free key there, which is kind of rubbing in our face. But, but okay, game. You do that. You do that. Poopulon, no. Don't even bother. Let's open that up. God damn. So, we, we just got... Antibodies, which are actually a pretty good if we can get some heart contain, this is a pretty good synergy with the beast blood injection. We're gonna be able to use it more often. Oh my god. Now I'm very, very scared that I could die. Nah, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Bad bit of damage there, but we'll be alright. We will be okay. Um I'm actually gonna go and feed the uh, the gun muncher the flash ray, even though we've been using it, it's been doing us good. I'm gonna feed it that and feed it the boxing glove because I'm literally never gonna use, the, use that boxing glove. I really would rather have something that I'm gonna use it more often. And honestly, I will use this more often. I will take that uh, that armor there. The old crest is gonna help us out. I'm gonna take that. But yes, I will use this much more often, especially if we get the synergies and I immediately lose it and I'm dead. That was terrible. That was awful. That was bad. I, I I swear, like, I've got more of my deaths playing this character than any other. Because <laughs> he's difficult. He is. Like, you've got to, you've got to really balance out the um the good and the bad with him. You've got to you've got to play to his strengths, but if you play to his strengths too much, you're gonna die. I always, always start off the run by using his injection. It's a bad idea, really. I should be keeping the HP, but it's my own fault for not flawlessing. If I'd have flawless the first boss, it would have been absolutely hunky dory, but I fucked it up. Either way, let's carry on. Keep going. Keep her going. We'll be fine. I'm sad to lose the hip holster. I love the hip holster. And to be honest, sad to lose that little antibody synergy that we never actually got to use. That would have been really cool. But we didn't actually get to try it out, which is a shame. We try, 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 try. Drop this on this guy. Didn't quite hit him there, but oh well. Come over here. I'll do a little bit of extra damage, but I don't think we'll be killing him before he fires off his next one. No. Nah. Come on, dude. Die already. Oh my god, this fucking weapon. Starting weapon so shit. It's so shit. It's so shit. My god. Right. I'm pretty sure I'm playing on the wrong save file as well. I'm pretty sure I'm playing on my uh, alt save file for streaming. But, oh. It's not like the deaths matter anymore anyways, is it? We're way past that. Way past that. Right, let's just play a little more cautiously this time. Don't play as fast and loose. Um, I, I kind of knew as soon as we got down to one hit that it was it was bye bye time for us. The Oubliette's obviously a dangerous place. It's it's a lot harder than the regular second floor, and with with low HP, it's it's not always a guarantee that we're going to make it out alive. I think if I'd have got to the boss, I'd have been fine. I can mostly flawless the um, Oubliette boss, the Blobby Lord, without a problem, but. I think um, I think some of them regular rooms just pushed me a little bit, and that one honestly, I was I wasn't expecting the um, the little bandana guy to go full auto on me straight away. It kind of it kind of took me by surprise. He just opened up, <laughs> started firing straight away, and, I, and it, it didn't it didn't feel good, man. It didn't feel good. Well, oh. but as you guys know, I'm not. Oh god, I forgot this guy doesn't have contact immunity. Um. I'm not the guy to just play it safe and go for the win every single time. I play how I think is going to be fun and how I think is going to be my, like my most enjoyable run. And for me, that's usually high curse or, or like high damage. And this guy benefits from both, so he kind of feeds into my he feeds into my like risk, and I kind of overdo it. Like even now, I've I've, I've played it a little risky with using my beast blood injection. I'm down to one heart, one jammed enemy could end me. And considering this guy now has like four curse. Decent chance we'll see some jammed enemies, so not the best idea on my part, but you know what? Risk again. If I die twice an episode, though, I I allow you to unsub. Nah, I I, I I might, so don't do that. Um, I will take another key, though. Three keys in the first floor. That's pretty fucking good. Yeah, it could de it could definitely happen, so please don't do that. <laughs> um, right. Righty ho, let's try and find our other item room. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be that adverse to opening a brown chest, but I'd rather not. I'd rather open something better, but we'll see, we'll see. Maybe this will be like the uh, the last time I died, where I died and then had an, an immediately brilliant run afterwards. And it was with this character as well, wasn't it? So maybe that'll happen again. Doubtful, but it might. It could. 
it's literally, it has happened before, so. Certainly could happen. I think I've, yeah, like I said, I've just got to sort of, I don't have to play safe as such. I've just got to kind of, kind of think before I do. I, I, I tend to, two brown chests. Do you know what? I'm doing it. I'd love to take you knife shield. I'd love to, but the beastle injection is too good. It's too good, man. It's too good. Sling is amazing. And I will take that other key, sir. No. Don't want to speak to you, Bella. Bella, you dildo. But yes, the sling the sling does does make me happy. It makes me feel feel glad about my choices. Knife shield also makes me happy. I'm just upset we couldn't take it. Like, unfortunately. One of the biggest downsides of this character, in my opinion, is that his um his active item is so crucial to his playstyle that you basically can't can't take other active items. And not only does that like rule out some fun options, ah, it also makes it kind of difficult to get like good items from chests because there's a good chance you get an active item that you can't use. And oh my god, I almost got hit again there. That's stupid. Right, cool. Actually got the flawless this time, and we we do have two HP rather than just the one. So feeling a bit better. Pox cannon isn't making me feel too much better though. Isn't making me feel too much better. Um, right. We can go to the oubliette this time around, so let's do that. Did I open up the door? I didn't. I seem to always do the thing and then not go in and press the button. Just press the button. You mongo. Uh, right. So, goodbye, knife shield. It was nice knowing you, but... Unfortunately, you shall not be with us this time. Yeah, I think... Like, I'd love this character to have the backpack so he could carry two actives, but I think that would genuinely make him too strong, I think. I think the the downside, obviously, of not having, um, not being able to have active items, really, is actually one of his, like, greatest balancing features. It, it, it's annoying in some aspects, but it also does balance the power of the character a lot, and it, does, it, it adds even more to that risk-reward, because you can still throw it away. It's not like you require to keep the people injection. It's just... If you want to play the risky high damage route, then or route, or whatever you say, then you do have to stick with it. So, I do, I could, I do like the option at least. I like the way you can, you can. But basically, what I'm trying to say is this character is designed very well. The ba balancing has been majorly taken into account when this character was um, conceptualized. Same with my character to an extent. I think, I think a, a bit more thought has probably gone into this character or planning. I think mine was a bit spare at the moment. It, it, I, I've kind of been working on the balancing over the past few months, so I hope it's in a decent state, but I'm, I'm definitely open to suggestions, those of you that have played it. Let me know if there's anything else you think I could do to balance my character a bit more. I know that he is on the definite more powerful side of things, but I don't really mind that. I kind of like having powerful characters. I've, I, as I've said before, when you're getting to the point where you're winning a lot of your runs, says the guy that just died, but when, you, when you're winning a lot of your runs, it, you kind of find the overpowered runs are just more fun because you know you, you you don't know but you you got a good chance that you're gonna win anyways you might as well have fun while you're doing it and that's not to say that a difficult or struggle win isn't fun I think sometimes they can be really fun and um, it just it's just like wading through the shit to start with it can be it can be a bit frustrating sometimes it depend it does depend on the type of, of run as well and like the type of items you get I think sometimes you can get one of those runs where you get really shit tier items and it's boring because of the because the items are not just shit tier, they're dull. And other times you can get ones where you get like moderate items, but you never quite get enough ammo, you never quite get enough this, that or keys or whatever. And it just holds you back a bit, but the run is still fun to complete and it's still satisfying, if not even more satisfying to win. I've had quite a few of those in this series. I've had a few in recent memory. This 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 room just ruins my brain. It fires so quickly. There you go. Made it through that room this time. Did lose my armor, though. Not gonna use my beast blood injection here. Okay, we got our first jammed enemy here. Okay, ah, ha, ah, Why am I so bad? Thought there was another jammed enemy then, but it's just the poopulon spawned, like, under that guy's effect, and it looked really weird. Luckily, a lot of the a lot of the enemies we're getting are, are poisonable here. A lot of the time, like poison-based weapons, like the pox cannon, really don't suit this uh, floor. But we're doing okay with this here. I didn't think we would be. But then again, the pox cannon's base damage is pretty decent, anyways. So there's that. Just wish we had poison immunity. That'd help, definitely. 
Yeah. I do not want that barrel there. That barrel is a heathen. You watch, I'm gonna die to the poison or something out. It's stupid, somewhat stupid like that. Right, good, good. Well, we're sort of wading through the rooms here. We really are. We're getting through them quickly. Like, things, as you can see, are dying in in just a few hits, so we're not having problems in that regard, but once we run out of ammo, which is in like three bullets, <laughs> that's where the problems are going to start to arise. Do you know what? I used the sling there, and I'm actually okay with the fact that I used the sling there. Cool, got you. Right. Let's go and open our chests. We've got two keys, so I'm going to do it. Iron coin. You've got to be kidding me with these active items, game. This is just not useful for us at all. At all. Okay. The bow and the sling do have a pretty cool synergy, but I'm still pretty upset. It's still not worth it. It's still not good enough for me, game. It's not good enough for me. Right, we finally got our hat back on. Runs aren't going well today, are they, boys? They aren't going well today. Right, let's take out this bastard before he gives us trouble. He's going to give us trouble. But like, I just don't get it. The bow synergies. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. But also, the sling's so much better still. It doesn't make it better than the sling. The sling's still so much better at boss killing. I mean, maybe it's better for room clearing, but like, who the fuck's going to use the bow for room clearing? It's got like a charge time of a thousand years, and then you, the synergy adds more charge time onto it. It's just, no one's going to do that. It's such a weird synergy. Yeah, it's more powerful, but so is everything else in my inventory. It's a bit dodgy. I suppose it's a reference to a game. That's enough, I suppose. Kind of the dev's thoughts there, maybe. Oh my god, stop getting so close to me, you big pink blob of shit. Right, he's almost, he's almost dead. Come on now, boy. Take a beating. There we go. Oh, glad I didn't get hit by him. Oh my god, backup gun as well. Oh my god, backup gun is pretty good. I would have even loved hip holster as well. But this this is pretty good with this. That's pretty good with sling as well, to be honest. Not gonna lie, this is this has gone this has gone really well. I buy another key. I'm actually gonna go and open that because it gives us a chest and a beast blood injection use, so I think it's worth it. The chest was armor. Not what I wanted. But it gave us a beast blood injection use. I really find it annoying and kind of shit, really, that unlocked chests can contain just casings or health or armor. I don't know why that exists. It shouldn't. It's just whenever it happens, it just it's just depressing. Right, so let's try out this whole burr bonanza thing. Like that just that's just not fast enough still. It just really isn't. Luckily these these um do have the dueling, uh, the dueling pistols shots do have smart homing, slightly at least. So even if we miss the uh, with the backup gun bullet, it's going to try at least to bounce towards t the targets. Obviously, it does only get two bounces, I think, so it's not always going to hit. But it at least tries. There you go. See? You got him. Oh, shit. There's four. I just thought there was two. As you can see there, look. It's trying its hardest to get to him, and a lot of the time it is. It's making it. If we can get Herming or Smart Bolts or something, that'd be great. Okay, this is this is fucked. This is really fucked. I'm actually just gonna use the sling here because, although it's a bit stupid, the enemies here are so difficult that I really want to be safe. It's not the enemies; it's more the amount of enemies. Hiding here. But yeah, we got a pretty got a pretty shit hand in terms of weaponry here. Not gonna lie. Sling's great for bosses, but room clearing is just not what you want. And do you know what? What I was really hoping for, what I what, what I kind of thought but didn't say I really wanted for this run was the proximity mine. With it being an active item that we can't pick up, and it also being the worst active item in the game, I thought it'd be a really good asset to our run. So I really wished it'd be in the shop. Especially when we've got 81 casings and the ability to buy something from the shop. So, do you know what I was saying about, uh, earlier about there's, there's some of them runs that are a bit like a struggle bus run. You still enjoy it. Let's hope this is one of them. Because at the minute, 
Not doing so hot. Not doing so hot. We also need ammo pretty badly for the pox cannon and the sling. Like, we're going to have troubles with the boss if we don't get sling ammo. Like, real, genuine troubles with the boss. Did we kill the other wizard? Or did he just move? I think he just moved. You bastard. Oh, sniper boy. Can we kill him before he shoots again? No. <laughs> we cannot. Come on. Oh my god. HP. <gasps> Ammo. We have to take the sling. It's too important. Boss killing is just just going to be our downfall, if not, because this thing does not pack enough of a punch. Although the pox cannon carried us through basically the whole of the oubliette and can definitely carry us through this floor and maybe even the next. I'm still thinking that it's much more beneficial for us to have the ability to uh, kill bosses quickly. Because we need those flawlesses. With a run that's going to be this week, at least so far, we need that assurance that we can... Uh, kill bosses. That is like our strongest part of us. Considering it's a DT a weapon as well, it's kind of stupid, but that is sometimes the way the cookie crumbles. You guys have seen how lucky I can be. So sometimes you just got to have them runs that aren't lucky. You've got to you, sometimes I just use all my luck up in one run or a few runs and then I go on to runs like this where I get absolutely shit all. Oh, my god Nitra right off the bat. Would have been nice to kill all of these guys with that Nitra, but apparently that's not allowed. You'd kill a lot of guys there with just one shot, though. That was beautiful. This is not so beautiful. I really want to use my beetle injection for more damage, but also, I'm scared. There we go. We've got a shop right here that we can... Shop, sorry. A, a chest right here that we can open straight away as well, which is nice. <gasps> more HP. <gasps> more HP. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. It's not quite what we need, but we are getting somewhere. We've got, we got the ability to carry more HP, which should hopefully mean we have the ability to use Beast Blood a bit more often, which obviously increases our damage. The more Chaos we have, obviously, the better that damage increase is, but at the minute, we've not really found any guaranteed ways to gain Chaos. I don't think we've even seen any Chaos pots here, unless we do lose our armor, which, although would be a good idea, I don't intend to do because... We need the actual, like, survivability of the armor more than anything. Because our survivability ain't fucking great right now. Thank God he died. Oh, there he goes, gone. <laughs> Whoopsie. It's gone. Oh, thank you. The pox cannon is revived. And there's the boss. Right, we've got our, our second, um, second chest to go to first yet as well. We do have 120 casings here, so... But yeah, we're going to be dealing a lot of damage with the pox cannon now that we don't have armor as well going to be pretty, pretty good. We've got to remember, we don't have contact immunity. I keep thinking we do. We don't. Don't forget that fact. Pox Cannon has a pretty long reload. I'm just, I don't know why I've only just realized that now considering how long I've been using it for. I think it's just because I've been like deep in conversation, but like it does have a long reload. I'm going to use the um, thingy there. Honestly, the grenade launcher, it's not great because we've already got a pretty decent dedicated boss killer and i'd say the grenade launch is more of a boss killer but now that it's been up to 60 ammo rather than 25 it's definitely definitely more usable than it used to be for room clearing although not ideal i i still probably will use it for the next floor at least for a bit because i think i think we'll get some good use out of it and it should hopefully last us a floor 60 shots you'd think it'd last you maybe a floor maybe not i suppose if you use like let's say we use like four grenades a room on average. Maybe not, but still, either way. It's going to be useful either way. I'm glad I got it. Not the best, not the worst. There you go. She's down. Getting another flawless. Building our HP up finally. And the hammer, yet again, one of those room clearers that's all right, but really not quite what we're looking for. I'm going to use Beast Blood Injection again. It's just, with the hammer, I feel like you burn through the ammo so quickly. It can be it can be a bit of a risk. Uh, shall we go to the rat floor? What have we got on sale? Buy a key. Oh, balls. <laughs> I was going to say buy a key, then we'll buy it, but I slightly messed that up. I miscalculated. Um, Yeah, let's just go. Sad to see, because that's my stupidity stopping us from going to the rat floor. I was like, yeah, let's buy the key first, and we'll have just enough for the rat key, and we didn't. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, well. We're not losing out on too much, apart from all the stuff you get. Oh, wait. I just realized the grenade launcher is going to be really good with um backup gun. I just hope we get shadow bullets or something. 
And we are using a little more. A little more than... We're on fire. Okay. I did not realize. So no, Nobody alerted me. Uh, I'm just going to get those grenades back. But yeah. Did just lose, I think, 2 HP to fire there. Not a good start. Okay, yeah. The grenade launcher with backup gun is going to be really good for us. Surprised I didn't kill that ghost in one hit, though. The ghosts aren't actually that tanky. So, if not straight away, bloody 9 mil. That is a nice, genuine, pretty decent damage upgrade. The bloody 9 mil can be a run saver sometimes. It really depends on the weaponry you have as well. Because, it obviously, depends on how often it gets triggered. But when it does get triggered, it kills. Look at that. It kills big. And it's going to be firing, like... Well, it has the opportunity to fire twice this one. So, the way that Bloody 9 mil works, if you don't know, it actually has a higher chance to spawn a Bloody 9 mil with lower magazine weapons. Uh, but, because we technically fire twice, but it still only has one magazine, we have a higher chance to fire, but two chances to fire it. How can I not hit this thing? There you go, I got it. Got him. Thank God the explosions don't, like, move us around or damage us or anything, because that would be hella annoying. God damn, that bird got wrecked by those stones. It just fell on its head. Bullet time there. We've got a key. We've got a shop, maybe. Hey, a shop. What the fuck is that? Oh, God. It looks like the sponge is melting from that angle. Look, that's kind of weird. Um, I might buy a mutation. Might buy a mutation. I will definitely buy a key. I might buy a mutation. The mutation's pretty good, especially with some of its synergies. What did I do that for? Just walk right into the pit. I kind of moved my analog stick by accident as I was going past... There you go, Bloody 9 mil go. Attack. It's also going to trigger from the sling quite a lot as well, which is nice. We have a lot of one uh, ammo magazine weapons. It's going to be pretty damn good, I think. Let's try and get an explosion on that turret. There we go. We, we did it straight away. Explosions immediately destroy the turrets, which is just beautiful. Come on, Bloody 9 mil. You can get him. Apparently not. I thought it would, but it only tried and didn't succeed. Pyaw! Just fire. I don't want to use my ammo. I'll take that. Yes, yeah, so like I said, the grenade launcher is kind of carrying us through here. Oh no. I'm on fire as well. Okay, this is awful. That was really bad. I should probably buy some HP. Can I buy some HP? I hate buying HP, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I'm not feeling good. With the HP left, right, and center to bullshit reasons. How did you not die? Fire a grenade right at you, son. Right at you. And you didn't even die. How rude. But yeah, we're just like living life on the edge on this run, I swear. Living on pretty low HP the entire time. Right. Just gonna go. I teleported then. Even though it's a longer walk, I teleported to get away from that little bubble. Because they always seem to get me in the most stupid ways. Piss me off. Quit. Got it. Oh, nice. Another green chest. Mm, yeah, again, another item that is... It's all right, but it's really not what we're looking for. Honestly. It's actually a pretty good boss killer. And even an okay room clearer, but... Just not quite what we need. Not quite what we need. Now, can we flawless this guy? I think with the sling, with, with our backup gun and a few blue nine mils every now and again as well, I think we can do it. It just, just I've just got to focus, haven't I? That's the whole name of the game. Focus up, Sonny Jim. Play good, boy. I can play good. I've been playing good for years, apparently. So my channel says. So my thousands of hours in this game says. But, you know, I routinely fuck things up that I know how to do and can do basically every time, but I still fuck them up, so... Who knows? Oh, we did it. Hey, hey. Give us that flawless boyo. And also give us lots of HP. Ah, we've got Super Space Turtle. Yay. Yay. Um, just use this. I see you, Mimic. Don't think I don't see you. You die now. Right. Super Space Turtle. He's here to help us out. I like it. Um, 
the outtake mutation. Ooh, it's got synergy. Is it, is it the um, Veracruz veins? Venomous veins, that's the one. Venomous veins, is, it, it works pretty well with it. I'm happy. Um, we didn't end up buying the rat key, did we? So we can't go down there. Uh, anything else I want to do? I'll use this twice. Bit risky, but I'm a risky boy. Let's go down to the next floor. And I'm going to use the um, I'm gonna use the mutation for the majority of this floor. I think with the venomous veins, it's going to be pretty damn good. I think in general it's pretty good. And I, I, backup gun's not the best for it, but it does help when we're in bigger rooms where enemies are going to be spawning either side of us. It's going to make a difference at least. For enemies like this, it's just push them over like they're bitches. The beanbag boys stand no chance. But yeah, the, 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 the venom just adds that little bit of extra damage. And especially if you just touch an enemy by accident, sometimes they'll just die without even noticing. They might not even be on screen. You just tapped them with a bullet. How did I dodge that then? Absolutely ducked and weaved. Right, look at that. It's pretty good damage, that, innit? Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say? The only thing is, it does burn through armor very, very quickly. Getting the shot grub as well, I didn't even mention this. Getting the shot grub from the Mimic is actually pretty good. Um, I don't really rate the shot grub on its own, but it has two pretty easy to get synergies, which both make it outstanding. And if you can get them both at the same time, it becomes a pretty god tier gun. Like, I have cleared the entirety of bullet hell with the um, the gunslinger plus uh, shot grub. Because it's only got two synergies. Oh my god, whoopsie. And they're both banging. Absolutely banging. So maybe we'll get one of those. One of them's a health upgrade as well, which is even better. Like, one of them's really easy to get, and the other one, I think, is Monster Blood. But a lot, a lot of the time, you get this gun from Goopentine, and he also sells Monster Blood. And he seems to sell Monster Blood very regularly, so... It's one of them items, uh, well, synergies, that's fairly common to get when you have the gun. I haven't seen the gun in a while, to be fair, but we might get it. We might get the synergy. I kind of hope we do. I've asked for things in the, in the past, and it gives me, like, Junkin and stuff like that. And it was like, you're not playing super, you're not playing your turtle character? Here, have super space turtle anyways. You know you want it. It was right. I always want a super space turtle. Oh, damn. Didn't see, did not see that coming, but he's dead. Uh, right, what we're going to go for room clearing now? I think I'm just going to go back to the grenade launcher. That was serving us really well. Really well. With bloody 9 mil activating and everything. Okay, let's let's use something a little faster firing here. There you go. A little faster firing to take out those little niblets. What's this little niblet? Ah! He's stuck in the corner. He almost, he almost blended into the wall and got me there. If I hadn't have seen him tele teleport then, I could have been some deep, deep shit. I'd like to hear. Are you going to open for me? I thought it might be a mimic for some reason. Right, we might need to buy some keys here. We might need to buy some keys. I just—I was on the ice there. I just dodged rolled in place. Look. Oh, it didn't work that time. I want to see if I can do it again. There you go. I didn't even know you could do that. Now you know. I might sell some stuff to the cell creep if there's anything decent in the shop here. Uh, because, honestly, we have a lot of weapons that we're not going to use. Just guaranteed not going to use. Ever. Unless we run out of ammo on everything. But there's nothing of use in the shop. <sighs> we might end up getting something... Do you know what? That's definitely a secret room. Just give me it. Oh! That's a pretty good haul right there. It's a pretty good haul. We might end up getting something on the next floor that's worth buying. So, I suppose it could be worth it. Holy shit. HP, HP, HP. I'll use this for a bit. The pitch fox, decent. Although I won't now that we're the boss. <laughs> I have lied to you, I'm sorry. If it's the warmonger, which I think it is, um, yeah, it is. This should be pretty good because the bouncing bullets will get him. We'll come back at him. I don't think we'll get a flawless here. For some reason, my mind's just telling me no. But my body. My body is telling me yes, but I, I j just... Something... Yep, yeah, there you go. I was going to say, something about this fight with this character, I just... I panic. And we've already got a shit ton of HP as well, so... As long as we can fill those hearts, we fine, boy. We fine. There you go. Not a bad fight. Would have liked to get the flawless, but... Like I said, I don't, don't particularly need it. Gas mask. Yay. It's worthless. Right, let's, uh, let's sell some shit. Gas mask being one of those shits. 
Right, sell that shit. Um, then we'll sell. I just, I'm not going to use the burr, ever. Um. Hmm. Do you know? I was saying we have a lot of weapons we don't use here, but this, honestly, I want all of these. <laughs> I was expecting to be selling like half my inventory there. Then again, coming down with 70 is better than nothing, and we did just get rid of things that we're definitely not going to use, so I don't mind that at all. I, I, I really hope that the um, the bow and the sling synergy doesn't add anything to the actual sling, but I don't think it does. At least visually it doesn't. I'm, I'm not aware if there's... How did I not get hit there? Okay, I did get hit there, though. Oh my god! I'm playing like a scrub. Oh god, that was so bad. I took two hits there that were really, really stupid. And I even almost took another, which I just don't know how I avoided. I avoided it by the power of Jesus or something. Got a jammed guy there. You just, you, you fucking horrid bloody wall bitch. Where the hell do you come from? I always forget that them Ashen guys can just like fucking merge out the walls. Piece of shit. This might be another death, you know. I'd be really depressed if that happened, because I'm not really feeling like dying. It wasn't on my daily, like, chart of things to do. Ashen bitches, be gone. Please let the shop have something that's going to just turn this run around and give me lots of health and HP. Yes. Oh, it does. It do. It do. It has the stout bullets. Everyone knows how much I love stout bullets. That is going to increase our damage by 35% at close range. Which, if you know anything about my playstyle, I'm always at close range. So that's going to help out a lot. Just going to make us very, very strong. Very, very strong. Hopefully should mean that bullet hell's a little more tolerable for us. It does depend on what our HP is looking like at that time. I would hope that we get a Dragon Flawless and maybe even get another HP drop at some point during this floor. That could really bump up our chances, but I can't bank on the HP drops. And I can't even bank on the fact that I'm not going to get hit for the rest of this floor. Like, I could totally get hit. I'm going to wait for all these bats to do their thing before I even attempt to do anything with these guys. The bats are taking their sweet-ass time, boys. My sweet-ass time. You tried. You tried, mage. You definitely tried, but it was worthless. Hey, HP drops. What'd I just say? What'd I just say? The game's in love with me. It knows what I want. And for some reason gives it to me. Um, mutation? What's sling looking like? Sling's pretty healthy. Actually, I say pretty healthy. It's got full ammo. This is the most... Bullshit room in the entire game. I swear to God, I hate this room. I always get hit on this room. This might be a first. You might be seeing a turtle melon first. He's not going to get hit on this room. Oh my God, he's done it. He's actually done it. Whether we can get a key to open that chest or not is is, is to be announced. TBA, but... We will see. We will see. I kind of hope, because... Even though we've got quite a lot of stuff going on this run, I'd like just like one more passive, even though we're probably going to get stout bullets here. I'd like one more passive just to sort of boost us that little extra way along. Did we just fire two bloody nine mils? That's got to be like the luckiest thing we can do with this with this weapon. Two bloody nine mils is way better than two grenades. By a massive margin. I like that. A yeah, beast blood injection, unfortunately, isn't going to see much more use. I do think we got quite a lot of uses out of it anyways. We got like seven or eight uses out of it, which is pretty good. That's like 3% every single time, plus 0.3, or 2% every time, sorry, plus 0.3 for every single bit of chaos we had on top of that. So we probably increased our damage by a good like 15, maybe 20%. And then obviously we're not wearing armor either, so that's another like 25% on top of all of that. Oh god, that's a new googly boogly boy. Coming at me. There we go. He he was not long for this world. We also have a mini boss fight. Huzzah. Everybody loves mini boss fights. Whoa. Did that take damage then? My guy my guy flashed, but I didn't feel my controller vibrate. I don't know if that's because there was explosions going on. Probably. I think I did take damage either way. Either that or some for some reason got very, very lucky. Wait. What? Oh shit, we're out of ammo. Hammer time. 
There we go. That's the key we're looking for. I will go to my uh, item room first and make sure there's nothing else we grab it open. Because we haven't seen any red or black chests this run yet. So we'll hopefully do one. But I don't think it's going to give us one. Hey, what did I say? Number two as well. Fuck yes. It's like a 40% damage upgrade and like a 30% movement speed increase. It's insane. Very happy with the result there. And then let's get the Stouty McStout bullets here. Bloody hell. This has just turned itself around. Surprise, surprise. Right, let's go do this mini boss. Oh, wait, no. Is this the actual boss? No, this is a, this is a fusely a mini boss. I thought it was. For some reason, I thought it might be the actual boss, but it isn't. Holy shit! Our damage is mega. Damage is absolutely mega. We also got two ammo drops. Very kind of the game. Don't really need them, but still very kind. And a bit of armor. Honestly, lowers our damage, but survivability is necessary. And crossbow? Pretty good for bloody 9 mil, honestly. Pretty good for bloody 9 mil. It's going to trigger that a lot. So, happy to have it for the later game, depending on our armor situation with other guns. And depending on if we get another key this floor, but I don't think it's possible now. Either way, this sling, if we can get close up, is going to be doing mucho damage. Mucho damage. And we're going to be able to take this guy out pretty quickly. Um, let's get some of the fires quickly to take care of all of these bastards. I said bastards then. I meant to say bastards, but I just said bastards. But you guys knew what I meant, so it's fine. Bastards. Right. Oh, fuck you and your sorry, sorry knives. Right, we're getting good hits with this. Try and stay back a little bit. We're going to lose our stout bullet da damage, but I'd rather do it to stay, stay as safe as I can. Safe? Safe. I meant to say safe, not safe. I don't know what safe is. Safe sounds like someone like trying to say staff, but really, really, really failing at it. I have a stave. I just imagine a complete neckbeard saying that. Wearing, like, a cape at a con somewhere. Hey, easy one cycle there. I mean, the stout bullets plus number two damage buff. Uh, plus the um, beetle injection damage buff. We've got quite, quite a decent damage up here. And that's great to get that there. In fact, let's actually have a look. What's our, what's our damage at now? Simple stats... Our damage is at what? Yeah, what? Well, we've almost got double damage by default here. Simple stats, and that's without our helmet off as well. If we go, if we take our helmet off, we get like another twenty-five percent. So we basically get double damage. That's pretty amazing. I'm happy with that. Uh, right, what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do? What we're gonna do? I'm gonna keep using the grenade launcher. That's been serving as well. And do you know what? The amount of shit I talked about the grenade launcher before it got its buff. I think it's worth using. I think it's worth trying to trying to help redeem it of sorts. Bring it back from the brink. Let's head down to bullet hell. And fuck up the lich. Fuck up the lich. Fuck, fuck, fuck up the lich. Been a little bit of a longer run this time around. I suppose I did have like an extra 10 minutes on the start there where I mucked up my life. So the only... Actually, do you know what? I'm not going to use the... Um, I'm not going to use the grenade launcher because unfortunately... Grenades and any explosive weapons are very sad in the fact that they, their explosive damage is not affected by damage ups, only their impact damages. So we wouldn't actually be helping ourselves that much by um, by using it. We might as well use a gun that actually impacts from the damage ups, like stout bullets and number two and stuff. Okay, I'm fine with taking that damage, because it only increases our fire rate and damage, and even movement speed as well, I think. So I'm fine with it. You've just made me stronger. Well done. That's a lot of bloody 9 mils. A lot more than I expected. Wait. Wait a minute. Can our super space tail actually fucking... F he killed the shot grub. Well done. Um, I'm pretty sure our super space tail can fire bloody 9 mil shots. That, that's news to me, and that's good news. That's really good news. Do you know what I'm actually surprised at? I'm surprised there isn't a synergy with, like, stout bullets plus scope, where it makes it so that you have, um, like, the stout never wears off. You just get the, the, the damage buff at whatever range. That would be a cool synergy. Like, stout plus scope, I think, would be the, the most sensible one to go with. I don't know. Would there be another item that would be better to do, like, range? But I think scope is the main one. There's nothing else I can think of which is a range-based sort of item. Uh, let's go with this for a bit. 
This with backup guns actually pretty good. We get a pretty wide spread of shots, and the damage we got is pretty insane. I just wish it had a slightly higher fire rate. Even with our fire rate increase, it's pretty damn slow. I was close. I was getting poisoned there. I was a bit screwed. Oh, also, good chance to fire bloody 9 mil shots. I kind of forgot about that. And the bloody 9 mil shots are banging at the minute. Absolutely crazy. Passive poison damage is nice, too. We did throw a gas mask away, so we're not immune to poison anymore. But honestly, that really doesn't matter. Do you know, the only place it really matters in bullet hell is on the uh, third phase of the Lich fight. Because for some reason, poison and fire status effects only show their actual, like... They only show their visual effects, like the bubbling or the the, the slight flame. They don't actually show the, the ground effects. So you can't see if the ground's poisoned unless you look for the tiny little bubbles in um, the last phase. It's, it's hurt me on multiple occasions. I've actually seen people die after killing the Lich, like in the um, in the animation going back to the breach sort of thing. People have died in that, in that section, which is baffling. Because I don't actually know. Say that was your first Lich kill. Would that count as the Lich killed and you still die or not? When does it register the kill? Does it register the kill when he actually dies in-game? Or does it register the kill when you make it back to the breach? Or open the book or whatever, the Anonymicon. I'm not actually sure. Would be interesting to find out. Someone do some testing on that. Or I should, maybe. Ain't nobody got time for that. God damn. You can just see how much damage we have, considering the shot grub with no synergies is wrecking fierce. Okay, I trapped myself in a fucking corner here, haven't I? Yeah, that was to be fucking expected. I did get some HP back for it, though, so I don't mind. <laughs> but that was so dumb. I just walked those guys right into my fat face. And got myself demolished. Demolished. Keep on running. Oh, ah, shit. He just fell straight in. He just... He, just, he was like, nah, I'm poisoned. I'm, I'm gonna die anyways. I might as well fucking commit. He just committed to the commit. Oh, yeah. Literally one shot from this thing. Oh, here we go. Here's our boss boy. Uh, I'm going to go with the mutation to start off with first round, I think. Mutation's actually really good with stout bolts and stuff. Oh, I, I didn't see that shot because of the big red beam of visceral goo. Okay, this is a bad idea. Right, let's 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 play this sensibly now. And use the crossbow. The most powerful gun in the game. There you go. That's how you're meant to play this. I think when when like when um the update with the bloody nine mil can't which update that was in, when that came out, that was like by far my favourite item at the time. Like bloody nine mil is such a cool concept. I just wish that it fired your normal shot as well as the bloody nine mil rather than taking over the shot. The same with transports. Obviously transports have been fixed by um Abe Clancy's mod. But still. And this thing should wreck his actual shitter. Holy shit. I'm pretty sure that broke DPS cap for a moment there. That melted his health bar. His health bar was Dunzo. Ow! Why did I stand so close? Ow, I've got no blanks. Ow! It doesn't matter, he's dead. Okay, be careful in this next phase because I don't have any blanks and this, this phase does take a little longer. Right. I hate it when you, you spawn really close to him and you're just like, nah, mate, I'm going to just drop this effect right on your butthole. I hate this. I hate this. Hate this attack. Probably the worst one he has. Fire your rockets. Lich boy, I don't give a damn. Because you're dead. My turtle actually got the final hit. That's the way it's supposed to be. But yes. That is the Lich killed for another run. Unfortunately, he did die. Bit of a bummer, but it's going to happen from time to time. I hope when I start my new um, save file, I hope it doesn't happen for a while. I'd really like to beat my record. I think last time I beat every single pass apart from the bullets before I got a death. So let's hope we can do that again, but better. I'd like to get like... 10 runs in without a death. I'd like to get a 10, a 10 streak right off the bat. That'd be awesome.
Because we're not going to be going to the Lich either. We've got, we've got the paths to go through, which I haven't been through in a while, so that could be some somewhat problematic, but we should be okay, I hope. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this run. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one.